I mean, that thing looks like it came from the future. As an emerging candidate, Tesla introduces the Tesla semi-truck as a highway monster with a range of 500 miles. However, the Hypertruck ERX, a unique truck, has even more power and can travel 1,300 miles on a single charge. How then will Tesla Semi be able to defeat its rival, the Hypertruck ERX, in this competition? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before I begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Is there a technology between diesel and fully electric that is applied in the truck? It might be Hylion's Hypertruck ERX. This truck is able to charge the batteries that power the electric motor via an onboard generator, which is fed by renewable natural gas. So, how does the price of the Hypertruck ERX compare to that of the Tesla Semi? Founded in 2015, Hylion develops electric and hybrid sources of power for tractors. Thomas Healy, founder of Hylion, has the new goal of launching a new $220,000 electric truck equipped with these impressive power packs. The Hypertruck ERX expects to qualify for zero emission credits from California and could generate up to $40,000 in rebates per truck if the Inflation Reduction Act becomes law as currently written. So this truck's price is only about $180,000 in the final price. Such a reduction in upfront costs would lower barriers to entry to electrification for current diesel users and allow for an easier transition to cleaner technology, Healy said. To truly appreciate the accomplishment of Hylion's new electric semi, Let's compare it to the Tesla Semi. The base price for a 300 mile range Tesla Semi is 150,000 and 180,000 for the 500 mile rig. At face value, it seems that the Hypertruck is about 40 to $70,000 more expensive than the Tesla Semi. The Tesla Semi is an advanced truck, especially when you factor in the haul poundage. But can the Hypertruck payload capacity beat out the Tesla Semis? The ERX offers great payload capacity. It outperforms a diesel truck at 60 miles per hour, fully loaded at 80,000 pounds. Fleets can haul more freight, not battery weight, enabling a higher return on investment. However, it's still 2,000 pounds lighter than the Tesla Semi. The automaker says that the Tesla Semi will be able to transport a payload at least as high as it would be for a Class 8 diesel truck. The Tesla Semi fully loaded at 82,000 pound gross combination weight includes truck and trailer. So what's the difference in the interior between the two new truck manufacturers, Tesla and Hylion? In the Hypertruck, Truck, the cab and dash layout are the same as a diesel model 579. The familiar shifter stick on the steering column is used to shift into forward or reverse and to control the level of regenerative braking intensity requested by the driver. The truck had a prototype tablet display mounted above the sun visor over the driver to show the battery state of charge and other pertinent details about the system. The driver will have access to some functions of the charging system and battery-only operation, but not all. Now, what's so special about the interior of the Tesla Semi? The Tesla Semi interior is quite unique. The driver's seat is centrally positioned, and Tesla says this allows for better overall visibility out of the windshield. Behind the driver's seat, there are two additional foldable seats. Tesla showed the cabin with dual 15-inch screens located on either side of the steering wheel. The right display appears to contain the traditional launcher we have in today's Teslas, with access to music, phone, cabin temperature, and more, while the left display contains truck-specific features at the bottom, such as tire PSI, trailer air capacity, and parking brake functions. Now let's talk about the power of Tesla's electric motor compared to that of the Hypertruck ERX. The ERX is equipped with a natural gas 12-liter Cummins engine. The driver has a full 670 horsepower and 1,550 pound-feet of torque. In contrast, the drive unit in a Tesla Semi has an output of 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. It can then be said that the Tesla Semi is more powerful than the ERX with 350 additional horsepower. But one of the biggest drawbacks to electric semi-trucks is the burden of recharging them. Specifically, large battery cells can take over six hours to fully recharge. 
This makes most electrical semi-truck models not a practical option in trucking, especially for long haul and OTRs. So then how long will the Hylion's Hypertruck ERX take to charge? In an effort to address this issue, Hylion's Hypertruck truck ERX, a rival for Tesla's truck, has developed a system that recharges its own large battery in just eight minutes. One thing truck drivers know for sure is that time is money. Time means more time on the road and that means more money in the paycheck. So 1300 miles with only an eight minute charge is something to pay attention to. With more mileage for the truck driver, the Hypertruck ERX appears to be in a league of its own. The Tesla Semi currently tops out at 500 miles, which is impressive, but it's still only equal to one third of what the ERX can deliver. And it requires much more powerful and costly chargers than those currently available for typical EVs. But then how did Hylion do it? Hylion developed a unique internal recharge system that utilizes natural gas. This process includes an onboard generator that refuels the batteries. Natural gas goes into the generator where electricity is created and fed to the engine. By streamlining this recharge process, Hylion has been able to reduce the recharge time to only eight minutes, which is impressive considering the size of the battery packs. To house the engine and energy capsule, Hylion teamed up with Peterbilt. When asked about the decision, Healy said it's a faster way to get to market with something that fleets already know and love as opposed to us trying to revolutionize a brand new chassis. But in the grand scheme of things, which truck would be safer? Regenerative braking was as strong as or stronger than even a diesel engine brake. The driver was able to manage the intensity of the braking with control on the steering column. In a skilled driver's hands, this could easily be a one pedal truck with almost no need to ever touch the brake except to hold the truck still at a traffic light. But what kind of brakes does the Tesla Semi use? Considering that the Tesla Semi would have regenerative braking in its arsenal, trucks put brakes to the test because they haul so much weight. But again, like other Teslas, the brakes will be used as generators and put energy back into the battery. Brake pads literally last forever, said Musk. Removing the internal combustion engine also means there is no transmission to maintain, emissions scrubber, or differential. ERX is a significant step toward decarbonization using an energy source that's already cleaner and less expensive than diesel. This solution offers essentially unlimited range, and there's no upfront infrastructure cost unless a fleet wants to install in-yard fueling facilities. Production of the Hypertruck ERX with the ISX 12N Cummins natural gas power is anticipated to begin in late 2023. How do you feel about this matchup between the Tesla Semi and the ERX? Which vehicle do you feel is superior? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support for our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until next time, take care and be safe.